All right, ma'am. So um, this was my second attempt, and um, I wanted to give my best shot at it. I had gotten screened out uh, from Mysore in January. So around May, uh, while researching for uh, how do I go about this attempt now, what all did I go wrong in my previous attempt? So this is how I got to know about Sir when I um, came across a few of his answers and. Um, my mental state was that i wanted a very logical reasonable approach which would suit my schedule since i'm working and for me to be able to be my best version when i go for my next attempt okay uh, so uh, you said that this was your second attempt so uh, what did go wrong in the first attempt what do you feel uh, was not right okay so ma'am in my first attempt i had gotten screened out and i believe it was due to uh, so the story part was what was reflected on my part where i wasn't a suitable candidate but internally what went wrong was that i had some preconceived notions which i tried to impose on uh, that attempt and uh, the assessors were very righteous on their part to uh, screen me out at the time so oh, just uh, make now please explain like okay what- on this uh, this preconceived idea about story and how did it reflect and uh, what made you change your outlook and how you could make a story which was relating better to the picture all right sir so sir um, earlier my notion uh, was to only go forward with a story that i can relate to there were four gentlemen shown in a picture and i related that to cracking the exam which had no absolutely no relevance with the story so um, i went with that preconceived notion that the story should relate only to my life and what i have experienced or i'm going to experience now um, that definitely did not correlate to the story so uh, that is something which had backfired at the time although my uh, my narration of the story was very confident but the base of it wasn't right so it did not span out well secondly i believe i got a little overwhelmed by the group because everybody was trying to overpower the other person nobody was ready to listen so i let that affect me at the time so this time i would say i was very confident in um, my competence with regards to ssb and otherwise too so that did not uh, come as a barrier between my attempt and earlier i would say i had gotten coached for it so the approach there did not really sit well with what the ssb was expecting out of us it wasn't expecting us to be authors or um, to you know share well crafted stories it should just be logical relate to the picture that's been shown and the narration should be such that i have a voice or a command that i'm able to then uh, you know lead a group of people to convince them around my story or to have a coherent um, understanding and to reach to a conclusion so that's what i would say meena since you said that you were working uh, and how did you manage uh, preparing and uh, what was your routine all right ma'am so i've been working since over a year now and um, being in the armed forces was my number one dream having uh, studied from the air force school for 12 years of my life so i knew that i had to sort my priorities now my job was such that it entails me to work for 12 hours a day and um, i would you know often uh, before joining nfa i would often feel really stuck of how do i carve out the time to practice those srts or tats or wats 
and now when sir said that there is no need to do that you only need to develop your overall competence i took my job way more seriously and um, i got rewards also for it from in the form of appraisals or um, appreciation from my team now how did i um, manage preparing for ssb with my routine was that because joining the defense forces is my number one dream i would do that first before starting my work for the day so it would get me all energized that all right i've now worked for my dream now i'll work for what i'm responsible for what i've been paid for and uh, my schedule entailed me to wake up at 6 and work out until 7 meditate until 7:30 then from 7:30 to 8:30 uh, for majority of the lockdown i prepared breakfast for my family and held around regular chores for my parents my grandparents and my sister so i would do that till 8:30 have breakfast till up till about 9 and from 8:30 to 9 that bracket would include me freshening up taking a shower and from 9 to 10 i would only prepare for ssb in the way that um, i would brush up my current affairs read the newspaper or work on whatever significant weaknesses that i had identified for myself from 10 to till about 8 pm i would work with a few breaks in between with lunch and otherwise and uh, then post that i would help my mom out for anything that she would need and till about 8:30 we would have our dinner and uh, by 9 i would be free and then 9 to 10 my mother and my sister we all watch a certain show so we would enjoy that and by 10 i would read a little because reading was one of my hobbies and uh, around 10:30 i would sleep and then carry on with the next day okay megna uh, describe the essence of your ssb experience in uh... in a few sentences i would say just five lines okay so my ssb was a really fun experience i would say one of the best things that i've experienced in my life so far i got to meet really interesting people from all across the country and i thoroughly enjoyed the time spent with them we all had a lot to learn from each other we all had a couple of things to teach from our experiences and um, i would say that there was a lot of solidarity in the kind of people i met and it's you know one of the only few opportunities you get to meet like minded people who are as passionate for your dream uh, which happens to be theirs too so it was a great time discussing uh, you know our passion for joining the forces and uh, just being a part of the group helping each other out just having fun being very light hearted and having fun pumping each other up for our uh, interviews to come or the um, the other testing techniques to come so and that too in an environment like dehradun so it was i would say the best of both worlds very nice megna uh, okay so if you got another chance at ssb what would you do differently uh, if you felt that you know this was something which did not go right in the attempt you made okay i would say that um, being someone who always has a pros and cons list of whatever task she is about to do i would like to take decisions more quickly and efficiently so um while i would say i was going through my psychological tests i couldn't attempt all of them so had i been quicker in my decision making i would be more efficient at jotting down my response for them and um, i would continue to push forward as hard as i did in every task that came my way since you mentioned about psychology test so do you believe in uh, practicing them regularly or do you believe the tips various tips given on websites uh, so did you follow them so ma'am my approach was um, you know right on the lines of what nehru sir had said that uh, see the picture that we practice at home will definitely not be the same as the one shown to us so it is not like a board exam that we are you know doing sample papers and then we are just you know pouring them out on paper there it is we need to have the right mindset for it a correct mindset at home would reflect as a correct mindset during the testing process as well so um what i my approach for psychology test was that i wanted to check my speed for it so i had done each test one time only and um it like a month before my attempt i would uh, practice one story each day only on the lines of or i'd watch the beginning what's the aim that i want to achieve in this story 
what's the conclusion has the aim been achieved or not so are my thought process as aligned as i would want them to be on the main day so that is the only thing that i would check for um, wats i did not write anything uh, you know apart from that one uh, test the time test that i took and same for srts i did not write any of them i was just uh, looking at my responses and judging them myself that are they logical in the situation if i put myself in the shoes of the person going through this uh, this srt is this the logical approach am i using the materials that are being set in the srt or am i creating materials so on those lines is uh, what my approach was okay uh, what uh, what brief message uh, give us a brief message you would like uh, you know uh, to give to the aspirants here all right so being in the same shoes um, i would say that um, my approach from the first attempt and second attempt had a world of a difference this time i had prepared myself enough that my confidence came from the fact that i was very competent as an employee at work and that i was ref- i would reflect as an uh, as a competent person to join the defense forces as well since there would be life uh, you know um, entrusted in my hands so i would say just start small at home whatever you're doing at home even if it's you know drying the clothes of your house do it perfectly because how you do one thing is how you do all the other things your work it your work ethic would start from the smallest of things and um, i would also say that uh, secondly face all your fears because this constant nagging thing that what if i don't make it then chart out a plan of what if you don't make it what is your second plan of action for that because all the 2 and a half lakh or 3 lakh aspirants who write the paper always have the aim of you know making it nobody does it just for passing time but what what sets you apart is you know what matters in the end because we all know the proportion of people who finally you know make it to the academy and get commission so face all your fears if your head is asking you that what if i don't make it so you need to have like this plan b sorted in your head that all right if i don't make it i might consider this but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it like we'll do the full research if it so happens that i need to pursue it and uh, the third i would say is um, master your mindset right because you you know you need to be disciplined in your daily life to show your discipline there uh, which would entail not breaking any rules and following as said because uh, you know if you take things lightly on the road say if you're breaking traffic rules you would probably break them at gto2 so all of these small things that we do daily would reflect there in the technique that we use to assess us and because for most of the techniques they assess our subconscious mind we will not even know what we did and uh, a couple of us would come back saying you know i i gave my best but it did not happen and i'm and i'm not quite sure why so a uh, master your mindset and um, be detached with the results just go out have fun it's ssbs are located at such nice locations just enjoy the view enjoy the good company that you will get enjoy the opportunity to share your passion with like minded people and um, do lend out a helping hand with whatever opportunity you might get and because you would expect the same had you been in that person's shoes who would need your help so that's what i would say okay all right meena if you had to choose from the given options whom would you owe your success uh, primarily to uh, a colonel nehru b nfa groups c the overall idea of nfa i would say the overall idea of nfa because uh, that was reflected in colonel nehru's lectures i attended every single one of them since i enrolled even on wednesday when i was working i would just plug on you know his lectures in my ear because i i couldn't miss any of it and uh, the group as well to you know uh, be with people who are who have as much josh as you do to want to be able to serve the country and to share that knowledge and experience that they have learned over the years so that was also a great experience with interacting each one of them for this brief period uh, so do you have any questions to ask i don't have any questions to ask meghna is a very clear headed girl <coughs> she has expressed 
how she prepared, what her mindset was uh, in a very clear manner. And uh, because she was quite clear headed, she has performed confidently and she has got the desired results. So everything is in front of us. Um, uh, then uh, a lot of aspirants we have who would be having some questions, who would be curious to ask her. We will allow them to ask some questions. Also, we will request Meghna that she should continue remaining the part of the NFA group that she is so that she keeps participating and uh, keeps sharing her uh, knowledge and experience with the group members. And that is how No Frills Academy has grown and it continues to grow. For sure, sir. It would yeah. be a pleasure. Good, good, good. Thank you so much. Yeah, please, uh, boys and girls, you can ask your questions. I would like to ask regarding the SRT, sir. There are some situations like uh, they, uh, they are asked <laughs> that you are having a heated deb debate with your friends. You are getting overpowered in a debate. So to this situation, are we supposed to write the same uh, reaction or <clears throat> are we supposed to twist the reaction in some manner? Meghna will tell you. Uh, all right. So I would say do what you do in your real life. Your friendship is too precious to you know let go over a heated debate. So just hear each other's opinions out. Take the conclusion of what the most rational approach is. Agree with them if they are right. And um, your if your approach is right, then stick to it. At the end, agree to disagree is what I would say. If you know if this happens in real life, so put yourself in those shoes there and uh, reflect your thoughts in a very concise manner. Disagreement ka matlab jhagda nahi hota. We can differ in our views. That's fine. Mature people do that. They don't get, get into fights because of that. Fine? Okay, sir. So, ah, the mature girl, she realizes that. And that reflects in her outlook. I want to ask that uh, after you have enrolled in NFA, uh, what kind of changes and uh, after how many days have you experienced changes? those changes in your uh, daily life? Okay. So first of all, I would say that enrolling in NFA was a big load off my head because um, I realized that I was wasting time before that uh, in uh, practicing for things that I thought would be useful but had no relevant impact on my selection. So um, that it helped me absolutely clear my head and uh, sort my priorities of, you know, just continue giving my best at what uh, my role entails at my house or at my workplace. And what changes I uh, inferred was in the first week itself, because after um, getting, in, uh, getting to interact with all the other aspirants in my group, I felt like I was at the right place. Because everybody had so much knowledge to share and um, we would just, you know, take up responsibility each day of organizing the calls too. So that also, you know, entrusted a factor of leadership in us of how we are about, you know, organizing things. Uh, that too at a very spontaneous moment because 10 minutes before we would be told that, you know, all right, it's your day to organize. So we, we'd just be chill with it and we'd go ahead with it. and. Um, it, it gave me the confidence of, uh, you know, continuing on that path of self-growth and not just mindlessly practicing SRTs or TATs because that would not add any value to me as a person. So that's what, what I would say. Uh, congratulations, Meghna. Thank you. Um, okay, so I have my FS in Dehradun uh, only. Uh, it's going to start by tomorrow from 12th. So way. any last, thank you so much. Any last minute uh, advice you would uh, like to give me? Yeah, I would say that always uh, be confident. Whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing in the smallest of tasks, always be confident. Okay. And secondly, always be grateful to whoever is hosting you there, to all the mess boys, always go and say thank you. And uh, be yeah. respectful towards every person of every hierarchy that you get to meet. Yeah. And thirdly, just enjoy it. You will have so much fun with everyone there because we're all young people and like full of energy. So yeah. enjoy your experience. It's going to be a great stay. And all the very best. Okay. Thank you so much. Love us all. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I have similar uh, story uh, with you. Like I also went for uh, EFSV Mysore, uh, previous one. And I also got a screen out and this is my first attempt. 
and i have i have done the same thing that my story is not related to the picture mm-hmm. and i also have a in mind uh, that time issue that whether i will do it for minute or not so what are your uh, your recommendation to me okay as far as the story goes i believe 4 minutes are more than sufficient to write a story because we don't have to you know write a like a novel on it we just need to write you know few 10 to 12 lines of what we feel about the story now i would say 30 seconds are more than enough for us to perceive it just take it from the point of view of you know like even a class 1 child if given a picture can make out what the story entails he might not be able to decipher it in the way that we expected that it's broken down into those uh, you know three parts if the aim is achieved or not but anybody can do that so i would say uh, my approach was to make the most out of those 30 seconds so i can make the most out of those 4 minutes later on now for the first 10 seconds there more than enough for you to see what's there in the story look at all the four corners of it take a you know make out of uh, what the background of the story is it rural or urban how many characters are there and all the various things that we're supposed to jot down including the gender etc and um, more, 10 to 15 seconds are more than enough for you to perceive all of that and uh, because it's especially in paper it's it's a very you know brief thing and then for the next 15 seconds chart out a story line of what is happening if a man is running is he running for a marathon is um, you know is he running for for whatever reason so why is this happening what is the first thought that comes to your head is it you know enough to impress you um, do you think that's a good thought and um, in the next 15 seconds do that and then when the time to write the story starts i would say even if in the, those previous 15 seconds you're not able to jot down a story line take the first 30 seconds of those 4 minutes to you know clearly analyze in your head of what you want to write down because you will be able to jot it down quickly enough if you have it clear in your head because there shouldn't be any cuttings and all your clear thought process should reflect as clearly on paper so um, then i would say 3 minutes are more than enough you know take 1 minute each for the introduction for the aim for the conclusion and take the last 30 seconds to review what you've written if that's okay or not if that there's any grammar grammatical error that you might want to correct and then you should be good to go in short the message which meghna is giving to all of us is that if you are sorted out in your head you are clear as to what needs to be done then confusion is not there and time wasted is also not there things move on at a good pace and you don't find discomfort and you are able to do things in time and you are rather than feeling uh, you know pressurized you are enjoying the process right is sir is that correct meghna 100% good 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 okay one thing that i have to ask is that during my confidence i feel this that i am been like see entire uh, ssb has gone very joyfully but then the last day when the result is supposed to come i still feel that okay yeah i am expecting the result maybe uh, this that success uh, i am desiring i should get or not that tension comes and due to that the stress comes and that is reflected in my conference i have seen this and i feel that uh, i had two chances where i have lost just because i could not answer properly in my conference okay so uh, what do you suggest in the last day what should i do so that i don't come under the stress of result okay i think it's something that we should do every day not just for the result firstly like i said face your fears your constant nagging voice in your head who who says that you know what if you don't make it there is no guarantee of however competent you make yourself maybe it's not competent enough for the armed forces or they're desiring a different set of qualities and you possess a different set so answer that of um, what might be your next course of action so that before that voice comes in your head it answers itself and it settles down secondly i would say for most reason that i noticed that people get overwhelmed during conference was because there are around 15 to 16 officers in uniform and um, i would say that is nothing to be scared of just embrace the uniform you're going to don it one day so why is it something that is scaring you just imagine yourself in that uniform and um, 
you know you might be sitting on the next side of the table one day so don't be too scared of it it's all right they are human beings they are competent in their field that's why they are sitting on the other side and we are on this side so acknowledge the fact respect them for who they are and um, continue being yourself and thirdly i would say for any last minute jitters that you know still come after following the above two just you know what i did was that um, i would promise myself that for the next 20 minutes i am going to be the most confident version that i have ever been you know you just go back to the time when you were absolutely <laughs> confident that you knew what you were doing and um, you thought that you you know you're you're pretty good at what you're doing or whatever event it was probably could be a race at school or the time you held a leadership opportunity at at workplace so could be anything just remind yourself of that moment and uh, just think that for the next 20 minutes i am going to be that version of you know me and just for you to be able to breeze through that moment and after those 20 minutes end that you know that is the maximum time a conference could last then you can come back to addressing anything as it's coming in your mind i want you to ask that uh, what are the major don'ts <clears throat> what are the things we should not have to do in order to make our process of changing our personality uh, go <laughs> without any resistance okay i would say um, focus on more of the do's than don'ts and uh, you need to i i am sure you must have heard of what a swot analysis is it's you know your strength weakness opportunities and threats so people do that for businesses now you can do that for yourself also and you know when you've identified a certain number of weaknesses try to put them in the upper quadrant of that of your strengths work on them enough that you they're not your weaknesses anymore and um, what is the thing that you shouldn't do because you asked me that is that pretend to be someone you're not uh go with preconceived ideas just be yourself because you know uh i would say faking it would add a load more of pressure because you know you would think that okay i faked confidence during my ppdt and now i have to fake confidence in interview why not be confident generally as a person here at home so you can be confident there too <laughs> so that's what i would say so meghna has not only done a good job of ssp she has done an, an excellent job of answering the various questions put to her in a very calm uh, manner and uh, uh, very rational responses meghna you have given us thanks a lot thank you so much sir okay i think we have had enough for the day uh, i remains for me to thank meghna for all the valuable advice she has given us she is a very sorted out girl uh, quite uh, given us very very practical tips to manage day to day routine small mundane things as also important things i am sure all of us will keep in mind uh, in fact interacting with her has been uh, quite an educative experience for me i will also try and sort out my things <laughs> <laughs> i am hiding from her <laughs> more effective person on next wednesday <laughs> okay thank you very much thanks a lot for organizing family thanks a lot